Hi there everyone, I'm Dahlia. I'm an artist and an art educator. I hope everybody's well and ready to make some art today. I'd like to share something with you. There is a print that I saw at the National Gallery Singapore that I find very interesting. Come, let's take a look at it. Look, she's carrying fruits on her head. We don't see such things anymore in Singapore, do we? This is a print made by artist Cheong Soo Ping. He titled it Woman with Basket of Fruits on Her Head. Do you think she's a fruit seller? Or perhaps she just bought them from the market? That print gave me an idea what we can do today. But what is a print? A print is when you transfer ink from one surface to another. For example, when you use your finger to do it, we call this a fingerprint, like that. We can also use wooden, a stone, or rubber stamps to make prints of different images. There are different kinds of ink pads as well. Let me show you. You can print your name or let's try this one. Is that a pineapple? Hmm, let's recall. We saw a print woman with a basket of fruits on her head by artist Chong Siu Ping. I have an idea. What if you visit the fruit stall near you, draw that out and we make a print of that later while I visit the fruit stall uncle in my neighborhood and also draw him out and we can make the print together. These are the materials that we need. Foam sheets which you can purchase from stationery shops. Two pieces of A4 foam sheets. It doesn't matter what color. These are really soft. You can cut it later. Two to three pieces of drawing paper or cartridge paper, A4 size, your ballpoint pen, a pair of scissors, white glue, small painting brushes, acrylic paint, palette, your rag, and water container for you to wash your brushes. I have made the drawing of the uncle selling fruits at the market. We will need this as a reference later. Now, we will be making the plate. In printmaking, a plate is the base material we create the image on to print later. In printmaking, there are many different materials we can use as a plate. Today, we'll use foam sheets. We'll start by cutting the A4 foam sheet into halves. After cutting them into A5s, the first one will be our base sheet. Put this piece aside first. Next, use the other A5 and draw out your fruit seller and his fruits. Use your sketch to draw the image on your foam sheet with a ballpoint pen like this. When using the pen, add pressure. Make sure that you are making deep grooves as you draw with it. This is very important. Next, we will be cutting each part up. Like this man, let's cut him up. Once you finish cutting the parts, put the pieces on the base plate so that you know where each part go 
while gluing them together on the base sheet. Avoid putting too much or too little glue. I'll show you. It's good to just use your fingers to spread it out. Okay, if you put too much, you can always just put it at the other pieces first. Press firmly so that it sticks well. We are done making the plate. Here we have Uncle John holding bananas at his fruit stall. Can you recognize the other fruits? Remember to glue them firmly so that the pieces don't come off when you are printing them. Now, prepare your A4 paper. This will be your printing paper. So let's turn your plate over like this. Put it right in the middle. And using a pencil, trace the shape of your plate out lightly. Okay, so this will be your registration box. So this will be your registration box. As long as you have the plate, you can print as many as you want. So prepare a few papers with registration box like this. So you can have different colors for each edition. If you want to make this print into a card, grab an A4 piece of paper, fold it into two, print it on this side. So fold the paper and print on the right half. Then you will get your own printed card. Let's get ready to paint and print. Your paint should not be too thick. You may want to do a few tests first before you begin working on the actual paper. Work section by section. I will paint and print Uncle John first and then do the fruits next. Add paint carefully on the shape while keeping the lines and base foam clear of paint. Try to not apply too much paint on the surface or it will smudge when you print later. With the paper and registration box ready, we are set to print. Once you finish painting a section, flip the plate facing down, position and align your plate with the registration box. To make an even print, press firmly and evenly all over the parts that you have painted. Then carefully lift your plate up. There you go. That's Uncle John. After painting the next section, now we will proceed to print the bananas. Just remember to carefully align your plate to the registration box with each print. After putting even pressure to press, now let's check the printout. There, now we have printed the bananas. What's next? Let's do the mangoes.
as you can see the mangoes and the durians are printed well you can see the white outline clearly but the oranges here and the weighing machine is a big wet smudge because I added too much water when I was painting the surface. Let's try to put drier paint and print again on this and see whether the definition will come out a bit better. I have completed two prints and since you have this plate, you can print other colours of the same image. How many variations of colours can you print with one image? Here I have two variations where Uncle John is wearing different coloured singlets. Which do you like better? And I have also printed the second one as a card. How did you like that? Did you give your artwork a title? I hope you have enjoyed yourself making that print. I think Uncle John, my fruit seller downstairs, will be so pleased. I think I will print another one and give the print to him. Besides making prints using foam sheets, rubber stamps, or making prints with your finger, can you think of other ways how you can make prints? It will be an exciting discovery, don't you think? Have a think about that. For now, that's all we have time for today. See you again at the next National Gallery Art Tutorial. Bye!